something very interesting in your State of the State speech in January that I wanted to ask you about, and you, was, you, you kind of referred to it when you were talking about the bill uh, on, on LGBTQ and all those rights that was passed by the legislature today. You said that uh, Michigan will fight for your freedoms, and then you said that you would go to any other state that, and you know, to, uh, to represent that Michigan is a more hospitable place for them to live and for them to do business, and you specifically called out Indiana and Ohio. We all pick on Ohio here, right? <laughs> well, that does have a little bit more relevance after the last two years of the Ohio State game. Yes, it, it does indeed. God, I love that, seeing us beat up Ohio State, man. Hey, this Spartan was thrilled as well, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I have to say, it's been a long, it was a long way to get there, but yes. <laughs> uh, but what did you mean when you, you know, not only talked about, I understand, fighting for the, the rights and the freedoms of people in the state of Michigan, but basically saying you're gonna go after people in other states. Well, we're competing with the rest of the country to land investment, to draw talent into Michigan. And I gotta tell you, as you know, a mom of two students are gonna be making decisions about where they wanna build their lives. We were looking you know, last spring at the possibility of Michigan going from being a pro-choice state to having one of the most extreme laws on the books in the country overnight because of the SCOTUS decision. And that's why you know, I filed my lawsuit. That's why I worked so hard to protect rights. That's why Planned Parenthood and ACLU collected signatures and put it on the ballot before the people. My concern is not just for my kids, but for everyone in the generation who is gonna be impacted by this. You gotta be able to make your own decisions about your life and the trajectory of your life. That's why the Elliott Larson bill that they passed today is so important. Young people and talent across around the globe wants to be in places where they can live their true selves and be prosperous and successful and respected and protected under the law. And that's why winning you know, the reproductive rights fight at the ballot this fall was such a big deal. That's why this Elliot Larson um, you know, work that the legislature has completed today and I'll be signing into law in the next week or so is so important. We want young people and talented people of all ages, we want people to know Michigan is a place where you can live a great quality of life, um, a low cost of living, and have all the rights that every human being should expect. That's what we're fighting for in Michigan, and that's a powerful story to tell. As I look at Eli Lilly, who when Indiana um, stripped away you know, reproductive rights. They said, we're not going to continue investing in Indiana. I thought, this is an opportunity for us, but we got to win both of these fights. And as of today, I can say we have won both of those fights, and this is going to be a powerful additional tool in addition to phenomenal institutions of higher learning, right, President Ono, to 20% um, of the world's fresh water, to, you know, on and on the great things that we have to offer. This is really important. And I want to go into pitch Michigan into companies that are in states that are anti-choice or anti-LGBTQ rights. I want to make sure that young people understand what we have to offer here. And this is going to be an additional thing that we have in our, in our arsenal that makes Michigan so great.